It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to the full shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. I'm Hope Madden. Did we say it's movie time? I don't know. No. I know. Okay. I'm John DeSando. I'm Hope Madden. And this is It's Movie Time. <laughs> and it's time for another Jordan Peele movie. Hooray! Uh, all right. Now, he did get out. He did. I mean, everybody, all our audience, we all know. Yes. It was a nominee. It won Best Original Screenplay. Yeah, right. Thank you. And... And it was a scary movie, wasn't it? Yes, it was a scary movie. So what about us? Is he trying to do that again? <laughs> well, it's funny. Uh, there was debate, you know, at the time of, of Get Out as to whether or not it was a horror film. It actually was nominated for a musical comedy Golden Globe. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Um, <laughs> and a lot of people preferred to call it a thriller, And uh, to which Jordan Peele tweeted, it's a documentary, which I thought was hilarious. There's no, there's no question, Us is a horror film. Yeah, he... Made by a horror film fan. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, Peel amps up yes. all the tropes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and you know what I think is fascinating about this movie is how well he explores them. You know, he has little nods to dozens of, of films in oh. this movie, from Chud to Jaws to The Lost Boys <laughs> and more. And a lot, of, a lot of horror films will do that, but it's more like an in-joke, like, that's right, wink, wink, we know all these movies too, but that's really not what he does. He really echoes and amplifies the themes of the better horror films and, and turns it into something very deep and really scary. Yeah, and a lot of uh, pop culture references, not the least of which is the the oversized t-shirt. Yeah. The little girl at the beginning That's of the right. thriller t-shirt. That's right. I mean, yeah. And underneath of that is a Hands Across America t-shirt. Oh, is that right? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, what's the setup? Uh, well, you start with, you open with a little girl on her birthday at a, an amusement park with her family in Santa Cruz, California, and she disappears into a hall of mirrors. Uh, and then we flash forward 30 years later, and this same little girl is now a mom, played by Lupita Nyong'o, who is magnificent. Yes. And, and she and her, her two kids and her husband are going on vacation to her same family home as a child, so, so still just up the beach from that amusement park. And uh, this return triggers something, and the next thing you know, there's a family that looks just like them oh. in their driveway, meaning to do them some harm. Yeah, that, that shot could be out of, I don't know, Texas Chain Haw Chainsaw Massacre, the, the one where the family oh, yeah. is out there watching from yep. the window. Yeah. That family is out there. Is, talk about scary. Oh, I know it. Oh, I know it. And well, then, yeah, I was going to ask that. I mean, this doppelganger mm -hmm. theme. Yeah. Where does how does that fit? I mean, obviously, us mm -hmm. is related to the fact that there are two parts, yeah. the same per or the same persons. I mean, how does that fit? It's funny. I think that I feel like you could read it a number of different ways. Um, you know, there, there's a part in the film where she, Lupita Nyong'o, is talking to Elizabeth Moss, who and saying that you know she feels like she peaked at 14, and Elizabeth Moss says, "Didn't we all?" And, uh, and then there's also a part, so it makes me think like it could be sort of the other version of yourself, a darker version of yourself yeah, that you don't too. want to address. But then when Lupita Nyong'o asks them, who are you? She says, the, the doppelganger family says, we're Americans. And yes. us is pretty close to being U.S. And it makes me feel like yes, it's kind yes. of the, the broken, you know, bipolar sort of American society, right? I just think that there are a lot of ways to read it, which is for me... One sign of a really good horror film. Exactly, exactly, and I uh, and I agree with you. And I think that the you know the darker side, uh, the the worst angels of yep. our nature, yep. uh, they represent. Yes. So I you know so that works no matter what. Um, and I think, what's I'm gonna say? I th and I think here the the scary part is, is. Am I thinking about Doonesbury? The we have met the enemy and they are us. That's a great quote. And you know what I think is funny about that? If you were to watch, let's say, a comedy, right, or a romantic, and, and people, oh, I'm going to clone myself, and that kind of doppelganger idea is always used for fun. In a horror film, invariably, it's menace. The minute you see a doppelganger, you know you have to know, kill them. Right away, i got to kill this other version of me. And I wonder, where does that come from? <laughs> That's right. Uh, the, well, you know, you talk about the fun house at the beginning, which I think is a terrific Oh, opening. I do too. I do too. Um, and the little girl faces herself. You are absolutely right. You're saying to yourself, "Okay, I got an idea where this is going." I mean, she's facing herself mm -hmm. in the in the, in the mirrors. What a brilliant conception! Yes. 
that he carries through and this the scary th well maybe not the scary thing one of the wonderful things about this movie is that dad is debilitated mm -hmm. so we got the girls taken over we here do. we really do I mean, and you know it's funny too so Lupita Nyong'o has mm, huge eyes and so we have uh, different actresses playing her, uh, like a six-year-old, and it's like maybe a 12 or 13-year-old, and, and then we have another actress who plays her daughter. And you have all these beautiful, tiny faces with the huge eyes. It's so fascinating to me because, in, for the most case, they really are, especially the doppelgangers, very observant. They're really looking around, and he uses them for such great sympathetic and creepy effect. But it is, the film is really mainly driven by the female characters. Yeah, oh yeah, I love that. I love also the fact how how gently he, he carries this twin motif. Like, the, the dad looks to me like Jordan Peele. I know, <laughs> yeah. I know. And, and it's funny, so it's Winston Duke, who yeah. was last with L Lupita Nyong'o in Black Panther. Yes. He played the rival to the throne, the early rival to the yes. throne. So he's this incredibly tough, you know, and in this one, He's the greatest dork dad I've good. seen on screen he's in terrific. years. He's schlubby. So wonderful. He's so <laughs> and, wonderful. And caring. And it reminds me also, he looks a bit like Tyler Perry. A little. He does, yeah. but he does. I thought, to me, he seemed like he, he seemed to me like he was representing Jordan Peele. He's got a oh, yeah. Jordan Peele vibe about him. Oh, exactly. Um, anyway, so now, for an audience, do you think younger kids could see this movie? No! Oh, really? <laughs> But doesn't our ad say the Wakers? <laughs> I was curious about that. No, well, it's rated R. Um, but you know, it's funny about that. This is one of the things I'm so excited about this movie is that it's the it's the biggest weekend opening for a non sequel for an original horror film ever. Oh wow! Yeah. And um and the the biggest weekend opening for an R rated film in like ten years. Oh my god! Or twelve ten or twelve years. <laughs> so which is just exciting. It's exciting to me that an original film out of the gate makes that kind of money yes. because it really, I think, encourages Hollywood to make more original films. And and Peel has done quite a bit. Yes. As a comedian. Oh yeah 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 absolutely. He, he brings a lot to the film mm -hmm. where people are curious. Now, Hope, I have a question for you. Is that ending as confusing to you as it is a bit to me? You know, here's what I felt, and, and um, uh, I'm not sure everybody agrees. I didn't need as much explanation uh, when, when exactly. the one Lupita explains a little bit more to the other Lupita what's going on. I feel like we could have gotten the what was happening Without so much detail, I felt like the detail made it more confusing. Um, but it didn't sing the film for me by any stretch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And and yeah. And I, and, I, and that's a good explanation because I was just a little bit stopped mm -hmm. by all of that explanation mm -hmm. and even the the kind of twist. I don't know. Anyway. Well, Hope Madden, you know something? I, I'm I, I'm rarely ever intimidated. But your understanding and knowledge of horror films leads me to think that I'm going to ask you first what grade you're on, and then I'll make my decision. What, what grade would you give us? Uh, an A. <laughs> Good, I'm safe. Because for, <laughs> for sure, for this, for this uh, non-expert in horror films, I have to agree with you. It's an A. It's a delight. And I guess maybe we need to change our ad. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>